So, yesterday was my 57th birthday, and uh, I uh, celebrated it by doing my first... I have been doing art journaling. I have an art journal somewhere that... Um, I used to kind of learn techniques and and this is this is um, an old cookbook and um, so I decided to uh, make my first kind of thought out designed um, Page. I've done uh, journaling by fives, and I use you know I use kind of the same ideas of uh, background and texture and main uh, um, focus points and kind of bits and pieces. Um, so I was fifty-seven years old yesterday. And for the first time in years, really, I don't remember the last time that I didn't get depressed by my birthday. Because I felt that, well, I used to feel that um, kind of life was passing me by. Um, I have suffered with depression for the last 20 years and um, you know I've been on antidepressants um, and the last couple of years my life has been more or less in balance but really I felt that my life was boring that I left, that I lost my kind of oomph, my joie de vivre, no? So, um, then came Shannon Green. And journaling by fives. And it was like a door opened that was close to me. And all of a sudden I feel, I feel like her, you know? I feel like jumping about and dancing. Um, I feel grateful, I feel happy that I have found something that have given me back my curiosity and thirst for knowledge and and just you know I have I have a picture I couldn't find it to show it to you I have a picture when I was 15 years old and I'm sitting in front of the um, the Cathedral of Milan I was there with my parents and it's my favorite picture I love that photo because you know you look at me and you could tell from my expression from the way that I was looking that I had so much passion and curiosity and and this is how I feel well minus the teenage angst and the 
terror of the zit. Um, really, this is this is how slapping paint and stamps and cutting things from new newspapers and magazines made me feel. And. Uh, Really, I would like to thank, I would like to thank everybody in the group, but I would really like to thank Shannon Green for my early birthday present that made me feel like this. I haven't finished it yet, there are still bits and pieces to do. Um, I'll show it to you once I finish it, but I just wanted to share this with you. Thanks. Okay, so this is the journal page that you had a sneak peek of earlier. Well, it was more like a long ogle than a sneak peek. Um, like I said, it's just an old cookbook. And what I did was, uh, first of all, I, crum I crumpled some um, white uh, tissue paper and I stuck it all over. Uh, then uh, I used um, um, Moldic paste that has sand in it to give um, the texture of sand here. And um, uh, the colors I used um, for the sky, I used uh, gelatos. I used those, those four colors. Um, it doesn't have a name on them. Oh yes, it does, sorry. Um, cotton candy, blueberry, boysenberry, and for the edges, I did it with grape. And for the sand, I used this one, which is uh, butter, butterscotch, okay? And then uh, afterwards, I used, um, um, you know, the colors were a little bit flat. So, uh, for the sand, I used lemon zest dilutions. And for the sky, I used the color wash, the Adirondack um, denim, and sailboat blue. Um, what else? Oh, and uh, for the um, this uh, brown color, I used uh, burnt uh, burnt uh, sienna. Um, it's a PBO uh, paint. And th this here is a stencil which I should have had ready somewhere. Yeah, it's this uh, this stencil, the numbers. Uh, I think it's from the Crafters Workshop. I thought since it's my it's birthday and numbers and you know, um, I thought. I mean, you can't really see unless you actually look very carefully that they are numbers, but that's what I used here, and then here. I used, where is it, this one, which is 
um, a, stencil, a stencil girl uh, um, one, and it's it says Dube or Dub. Um, I think it's by, by Caroline Dube. Um, and this one, she is also um, a stencil girl. And it's Pelletier. I love her. She has, um, uh, they, they have like, I think three different ones. And they're, they're gorgeous. I love them. Um, I've got this one and hopefully I will slowly um, you know, add the others. Before, before I put this and the numbers um, I did a layer with uh, with golden matte medium um, and then I put the numbers and I put her um, I wanted to do her flesh color but I don't have flesh color so next time I, I go to town I'll buy and kind of finish her off and once I do the flesh, then I will know what color I would do for the bathing suit. I'm not sure. Mm. I love her sagging boobs and her tummy and her hanging butt and, you know. And this one, this is also the, um, um, the um, crafter's workshop. Art is where is it? This one. Um, and what else did I do? Oh, and you know, I added kind of just for texture some bits, which is this one. I just uh, stamped the the top bit because I thought if I stamp all this, it'll be just too much. And it's a um, stampendous stamp, and it is called Kling Geo Bubbles. Um, and then I did, uh, you know, some lines, and uh, the um, um, the circles with um, this and the color is dark ultramarine oh and one of the things i also did is um i have i have these stamps they're really weird this which is words and i have one which is uh, letters and and numbers and I've had it, I think, for about, I don't know, 10, 12 years. And it's by Memory Makers. And I never really liked it. I never used it. Um, but with this, I kind of stamped little bits and pieces, number 57. Like I stamped it all over, like uh, birds. And I also have stamped um, I don't know who it is by there are these stamps and I also uh, did uh, 57 which is my my age and I use this uh, color hydrangea by um, uh, uh, the archival ink I didn't want to do the black because I thought it might um, um, it, 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 it could be too too hard, too strong. Um, what else did I do? That's it, really. So uh, this is my oh, and then there is hair. Ew. So really, this is my first journal page that was not JB five or you know, kind of technique or, you know, just uh, just uh, one that I've thought about and designed. 
I hope you like it. Thanks.